Football really taught me that you are going to have disappointments, you are going to lose games, and it's how you respond to those disappointments and dust yourself off and get up. My name's Sean Evers. I'm the VP of Sales at Pipe Drive. And I guess why I do it is really just love the impact that we have on small businesses. Well, thank you for joining me on this episode of The Pipe Drive, where we take business experts down memory lane. How you doing today? I'm great, James. How are you? Oh, I'm great. How long has uh, Pipe Drive been around? It's been around since 2010. It reached unicorn status in 2020, I believe. Mm. I have over 100,000 customers uh, across the world. And we've grown quite a lot in the last couple of years. Take us on a trip down memory lane. What were some significant moments throughout your career? I actually uh, played professional football for around about eight years. I made my debut, the photo that you've got of me as a baby. That's me, um, 17 years old. But football sort of defined like who I was really. Super competitive, obviously, you know, you want to win. I certainly want to win. And then as my wife would say, James, you've got to stop kicking a football around the pitch and uh, get a proper job. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I did. A friend of mine was in a state agency. I was told to try and match people to houses. And that took me into the world of sales. I then started leading teams across international organizations and more recently Pipe Drive. Nice, nice. I guess my first real moment in leadership was with a, a US firm. Basically every year, the best sales teams across the world got a trip. The team did an amazing job over that year. And basically the second photo is a picture of, of me and my wife before we we're actually going on the plane to Dubai. And that was my kind of first real moment of leadership and the team performance. I know you got another one in there. Yeah. My last one is, is really my daughters. No one from my family actually went to university. They were basically first generation. And that picture is of my youngest daughter, Isabel, graduating from university. So yeah, super proud of them. I guess me and my wife did an okay job, James. <laughs> Sounds like it. Let's do a few um, rapid fire questions. Yeah, go for it. Do you consider yourself a detail oriented sort of person or a big picture kind of guy? Great question. When I think about like a business owner or someone that's leading teams, you need to set the big picture. You need to set the vision and bring people with you on that vision, right? That kind of planning then requires you to be able to get into the detail. Yeah, to answer your question, probably, probably both. Yeah, both, okay. Is coffee only for closers? Coffee's definitely only for closers. Like, <laughs> co coffee is my choice of drink. Are you a morning person or a night out? Oh, definitely morning. Morning? Yeah, I'm like, I'm in bed by 9 p.m. James, <laughs> most, most, <laughs> most nights. Can you explain a little bit how Pipedrive is different from other CRMs? Maybe I'll tell you a story. I actually did some consultancy work um, for a venture capitalist firm. They had a couple of startups that actually needed some help around go-to-market. I implemented Pipedrive into those two organizations. It was just really, really easy for them as product founders to be able to go, okay, I know where this deal is and the likelihood it is to close. It was just so really simple for them to understand that. The second kind of element of the reason why I went with Pipe Drive is because of the visibility that it then allowed on the reporting side, the insights that it could give them. They could literally take a report off Pipe Drive, put it in their deck that they want to present to a board. And it was just really simple for them. It's basically a platform built by salespeople. Other platforms are great to use. They can be complex, and they certainly don't have that activity kind of ethos at the heart of the platform. So Sean, what learnings do you think you took from your career in football that you can apply to sales? You know, I remember uh, again, a new manager that came in, he basically said, you know, one of you are gonna have a bad game today. And he said, it's gonna be around the other 10 of you to get around that one that's gonna not have a good game and help and support them. It's that cross collaboration, whether it's with suppliers as a small business, whether it's internal teams, external teams, that is gonna ultimately lead to your outcome. That's lovely. So Sean, where do you see yourself and the business going in like the next five years? The really exciting thing is that 
it feels like we've just got started. I know we've been going for 13 years, but with how the products develop, it's just a super exciting time. We've just released what we call the sales assistant, which is basically AI technology, looking at everyone's deals within their kind of platform, but then also helping them prioritize which deals to work. I just think it's going to be super important for our customers to really embrace that and trust that technology and the outcomes that it will deliver. Yeah, way to go. All right, thank you for joining me on this drive, Sean. No problem. Where is next? Where do you want to go? Let's go to, go to Hampstead and have a crepe. Okay, that sounds delicious. When I came out of football, I was like, oh, I have exercised all my life, yeah. and then I think I found cheese and chocolate, and <laughs> you know that sort of took over. So 